Jesus, magnify, magnify, come glorify, Christ Jesus, Jesus, the King, majesty. Worship His Majesty. Worship His Majesty. Oh, Jesus, who died, the Lord, King of all kings. Jesus, Jesus. His majesty, worship His majesty, Jesus who died, Jesus who died, is not glorified, King of all, oh Jesus, Jesus who Oh, 
Wherever you are, lift up your voice and just begin to magnify the Lord. Tonight is a Palm Sunday. Today is a Palm Sunday where Jesus gloriously entered Jerusalem to be crucified. And so from this time forth, we reminisce and remember this victorious walk to the cross, that suffering and death that has brought us life, that has purchased us our redemption. And on the basis of that, we want to exalt his name and give him glory. We exalt your name and magnify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. We bless your holy name and say that you are worthy. On the cross, Lord, you died for us, Lord. You purchased our redemption, Lord. You rescued us from the shackles of sin, Lord. You paid the price for us, Lord. That is the reason why we exalt your name and give you glory and magnify your name, Lord, and give you worship. We say that you are worthy. We say that you are worthy. We say that you are worthy. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you made a public spectacle of death. You made a public spectacle of sin by canceling all the handwritten all condemnation against us, Lord, by hanging it on the cross, oh God. You took away, Lord, our sin, Lord. While we were yet sinners, Christ, you died for us. Who are we that you are mindful of? Thank you, oh God, that you have made us sons, you have made us kings, you have made us priests by your shedding blood, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. We worship your name, God. We worship your name, God. We worship your name, God, and give you all the glory. Jesus Christ, oh, you're not in Shira, Kau, I'm 
Shall we be seated? Beautiful Nazarene. Wonderful friend of mine. Oh, let me gaze on thee. The Son of God. Beautiful Nazarene. Wonderful friend of mine, who oh, let me gaze, who oh, let me gaze on thee, the Son of God, who oh, let me gaze.
Also Paul said that for I received of the Lord what I passed unto you, that the Lord Jesus was crucified according to the scriptures. He was buried according to the scriptures. He resurrected according to the scriptures. Now dear father in his pastoral letter to us made us understand that Easter is the foundation of our faith as Christians said that without the death and resurrection and burial of Jesus Christ, even our faith is futile. Our preaching is useless to the extent that even those who have gone to sleep in the Lord have no hope. But because Jesus resurrected, we know that they too will resurrect. Eternal Father, this is our hope. This is what we hold on to. The reason for our faith that you died according to the scriptures. You resurrected according to the scriptures. You were buried according to the scriptures. That is the reason why we have an anchor. We have a hope. We bless you for Easter because it defined everything for us as long as our relationship with you is concerned. 
Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen.
let me wrestle and he will perform with Christ in this vessel ah, I will always smile at the song with Christ in this vessel I smile at the song and then oh how pleasant the
Wherever you are, lift up your voice. Let there be a mighty outpouring. Let there be a visitation. Let there be an experience. Let there be an encounter. In the name of Jesus, oh God, our hearts are ready. Our soils of our hearts is ready. Let the rain come. Let the rain come. Let the rain come. Let the rain come. In the name of Jesus, oh God, let an uncommon visitation be felt. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are expectant. Lord, we are expectant. The cloud is full. May it empty itself upon us tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray for rain. 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 Rain of revival. Rain of transformation. Rain of renewal. Rain of encounter. In the name of Jesus, stir us up tonight. In the name of Jesus, let us experience you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Indeed, God is raining on us greater rings, and tonight will be an awesome encounter. Beloved, we want to welcome you to the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. We are grateful to all those who are joining us on TV. We are on Pen TV. We are on DSTV channel 367, Go TV channel 214. We want to welcome those who are joining us on channel 34, on the digital platform, those who are connecting on the sideline platform. We are in Ghana. We are also in parts of West and Central Africa. We are grateful to those who are connecting on Atinka TV. We are very, very grateful to Atinka Media Village for this strong support. Those who are on our various social media platforms we want to welcome all of you. And then we are also grateful to those who are listening to us on Pent Radio 100.1 FM in Kumase. We really want to welcome all of you. Beloved, we are grateful to our sponsors, Adum City Estates, Next Computers, Lufa Tablet and Syrup, and then EDC. We are also grateful to all those who keep connecting and being part of this awesome service. The atmosphere is already charged, and our Father is already ready and fired up to bless us with God's word. Beloved, it's my singular honor tonight to introduce to the lectern the chairman of the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, Apostle Eric Nyamichi. We go
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Possessing the nations. I am an agent of transformation. Possessing the nations. Transforming, transforming my world. world. Yerifah mine. Yes, Sakya Yerifah mine. Yes, Sakya Yerifah mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be God for yet another day. So we are discussing confession. Confession one. That is to let God know the state of your heart. Confession two is dealing with offenders. And last week we said confession two must be true and sincere. And I thought that we should lay some foundation. Because forgiving is tough. Forgiving is not easy. It's all because of the human nature that we have put on. The reason why we hold on to grudges is just because of the flesh. But I wanted us to know that the God demands from the new creation, a new form of righteousness. So we can use the flesh as excuse. And then we said that, um, see, for us to sacrifice, it is not what God is so much interested in. God is interested in the condition of our hearts. And we said that we cannot be right with God unless we are right with men. And that obedience is better than sacrifice. So we're discussing the fact that the new creation is born of God. And as far as the new creation is concerned, sin is a mistake. That God has shared his love in our hearts. That kind of the love of God that he shared in our heart is able to love the enemy and forgive those who oppress us. So we should always operate from that perspective. And then when you go to church, we are not preaching to your flesh. We are speaking to the born again spirit. So and that spirit is able to forgive. That spirit is created after God. It is a new creation. Hallelujah. Amen. So this evening I want to talk about. The fact that God is interested in the condition of our heart. And He's interested in the condition of our heart rather than the offerings we give. But let me say that the born again experience is a powerful experience. It is a radical experience. Now the born again experience is a transformative experience. Now the born again experience is a supernatural experience. It is a game changer. If anyone is in Christ, the Bible says that that fellow is a new creation. New creation. The old is gone. The new concerning his life has come. Now let's start from John chapter 3. From verse 1, please. John chapter 3 from verse 1. I'll take it from the NIV. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. 
Now there was a Pharisee. Now Pharisee ni bi A man named Nicodemus. Odi pe bi awo friendu Nicodemus. A member of the Jewish council. Now oye Yuda fo peni no ebi. So this is a big, important, and well respected person in the community. Now we know in the petit repa e wo ni pote mo oti mo. The next verse says this. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Now let's be careful of the phrase for no one can perform the signs you are doing. Now this man is not is too big to be attracted to Jesus only because of miracles. No, he is not the kind that can be so naive. Mm. He is a member of the Jewish council. So, it's not only about the miraculous signs, but it's about who Jesus was and is what he sees about him. Who Jesus was in conduct. And then the signs and wonders is just escalating what he's seen. Otherwise, this man will not just be attracted to Jesus because of signs and wonders. Now Jesus took Great interest in what the man was trying to inquire. Now verse 3 says this. Jesus replied. Very truly I tell you no one can see the kingdom of God. Unless they are born again. Now, the man didn't actually ask Jesus any question. He just said that no one can do or perform this miracle except that God be with him. So he was actually not demanding anything from Jesus. But Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. So Jesus is trying to say that if you want to become like me, you ought to be born again. This man stood to his ground. How can someone be born when they are old? Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. So now the conversation turns to questions and answers. Now Jesus answered, very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Now like verses. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. Now, when an unbeliever is fornicating, what do you expect from the unbeliever? What, what other thing are you expecting? Now, the flesh will give birth to the flesh. But not so with us. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Now, 
If I go on air, cause Sarah and the Biara wa wunu humu no peti. Now, so the man was talking about the signs. Then he says that if you want to be, you, see, you, you want to be a sign yourself, you must be born again. And so that the, the spirit will be moving you, and the kind of life you'll be producing will be beyond the normal. And people will wonder, where is this wind coming from? Because the spirit has taken over, and the spirit is maneuvering and leading such a man. Papa no oba Yesu nche no no o kan senche ni ho asem na Yesu chire no se hom no e ba hom a e betumi ama wankasa wa yen senche ni ma de u be yire pie no e be yen nipa won asem wey e free hin e de na kwei na look at Nicodemus endless desire how can this be Nicodemus asks now Nicodemus is really asks i want to be like you ti Nicodemus ti asem ni kom no se wey e be den e na ye ho now let's jump to verse 14. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. It's all begins on the cross. Once you believe in the Son of Man who is lifted on the cross, greater works than even Jesus did shall we also do. Greater works. The new nature we inherit from Christ can fulfill the sermon on the mount. Brothers and sisters, no matter how difficult it seems to be to the natural man. So we said that the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts. That is scripture. And what is written is written. Now, so when somebody offends you and you get so mad at it, remember that getting mad at the offense does not negate the fact that the love of God is in you. So what do you do? Do you give in to anger? you pray from who you have become. Now hold this constant. Then let's move on. God is interested in the condition of your heart than your offering. Let me just say that again. Can we view? See, he has made us a sign and a wonder to the world. All that we need to be overcomers is in us. And that is love is shared abroad in the heart of the new creation. At any particular time, T, God is paying attention to what he has deposited in you. And he's very much interested in what is in your heart than what you have in your hands. Matthew chapter 5. Now this is the key reading for this evening. So I read 23 and 24. Matthew 5, 23 and 24. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and reconcile to them, then come and offer your gift. Very difficult standard. Inti se wodi wa yeye de ba aforo mu chia no na e ho wo kai se unua wo asemti awa ja wa yeye de aforo mu chia no enim ho na ko na woni unua no enko bom kane ansa na wa ba abe ma wa yeye de no i'll dwell on this scripture for about 2 3 weeks i can kind say me ye be hwe no be ye na wo twemie no anami ense but today let me begin by saying as we ne me shall see god is always interested 
in the condition of your heart rather than what you have in your hands as offering. See, it could be a sacrifice of praise or a sacrifice of good deeds. But those don't tower above the condition of your heart. Now, Hebrews chapter 13. I read 15 and 16. Are we together? Yes. Hebrews 13, 15 and 16. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. And then he explains it as the fruit of lips that openly professes his name. Now verse 16 also brings another kind of offering or sacrifice. And do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. So the first one was sacrifice of praise. And then the sac this one is sacrifice of good deeds. So when we are talking about worship, we are not only limiting it to the sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of good deeds is also part of good worship. Yes. But God is supremely interested in the condition of your heart than these two sacrifices. Now Matthew 15 verse 7 and 8. Yes. Matthew 15 7 8. You hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. I don't know which of the yous he's talking about. Whether you <laughs> These people now pay at these people honor me with their lips. Now, so God is saying that they are honoring me with their lips. So he he, he accepts that that is an honor, but their hearts are far from me. And so they are bringing something that God sees that this is an honor. They are coming to honor me. But the condition of their heart negates what they have on their lips. So verse 9. Let's read verse 9 together. Guess the first line. Ready, go. They worship me in V-A-I-N. See, they come with sacrifice. The intention is to honor God. But the condition of their heart negates this. Just take that thing off. And then their worship in total becomes vain. See, the condition of a man's heart is more important than the offering they have to offer. No matter how big the sacrifice no matter how big the sacrifice is. Uh, Genesis chapter 4. Verse 1. Are you here? Adam made love to his wife Eve. And she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Now Adam, 
na onyinsen na owo king na o kan say awurade ada woroma menya oberima later she gave birth to his brother abel now abel kept flocks and cain worked the soil na owo ni nua habel e kan no na habel ye odwanhwefo and na cain ye okuafo now Soon God is going to demand offering from them. Now, in the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the first born of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Now Habel so at the Ninway Mu Makain ne wa what Dori Nubi. The my ne radi any so Habel ni na ye dear. But on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. And so Cain ni na ye dear no dear. Then yan so Cain bufui pi na umunai. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Cain catch him in say, "My young boy, fool, na eba say, o we fool no." Cain sorry tia ninuya Abel na okumno. Then the Lord said to Cain, "Where is your brother Abel?" "I don't know," he replied. "Am I my brother's keeper?" The radi bisa Cain say, "And he and the ninuya Abel wo na ose minim minuya suche fo enemy ana." Brothers and sisters, please lift your, your heads <laughs> and look at me. There was something about Cain that God was not pleased with. Not his offering per se. There was something about Cain that God did not like. And because God did not like Cain, he didn't like anything from Cain. Let me make this statement. I think that on the surface, everyone brought what they had. So this issue of uh, Abel's offering had to do with blood, forget. He, the other man was not a shepherd. He wasn't a goat herder. So she, he also brought what he had. But, so, the scripture separated the men from the offerings. Just the how did I know this? Verse 4. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Abel and his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry. And his face was downcast. Now, Cain attacked his brother and killed him. I suspect that he might have had issues with his brother already. This is a suspicion. Now, I wasn't there. Because why should he attack his brother? And kill him. I suspect that. He might 
have had issues with his brother. Now, let me ask this question. What has the rejection of offering by God got to do with killing a brother? See, there was something about Cain himself. That was wrong. See, brothers, Cain was a wrong man. Cain, I therefore say that it was the state of the heart of Cain that God was not pleased with. God was not happy with him. The human being Cain. Second Chronicles 16 verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose, whose heart are fully committed to him. Surveying and weighing hearts. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. For they shall see God. Now I pray that you open your heart up to God. Now God is interested in the condition of your heart than what you offer. Either by your lips or by good deeds. And today, we have given an example in Cain. And I've said that God separated him from his offering. Now you may be a rich man. That is good. Supporting the church is okay. But what is the condition of your heart? I pray that God will help us. Now as we go before God in prayer. Now, pay attention to what God pays attention to. The condition of your heart. You see, you may, you may, you may be a pretender and try to uh, give some kind of impression. But you see, the Pharisees did it. And Jesus said, you hypocrites. I think we should rise in prayer. Now I'm praying that every member of this church of ours will be a genuine Christian. Not carriers of titles. No, but a genuine Christian. Eschewing evil and lies. I watch you and who, but if you born it and in Adam, the people whose hearts God can attest to and be happy with. Nipa, when you go for the Hunuakuma, then in your now, shall we lift up our hands if we can? And then I want you to go before God. Just go before God. Let's start praying. Just your Lift your voice wherever you are. Pray unto the Lord. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Ask the Lord to touch your heart. Ask the Lord to touch our heart. Ask the Lord to touch your heart. Ask the Lord to transform your heart. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, last seek of our Oh, <laughs> 
That our new birth is a special experience. It is transformational. And therefore, he said that Jesus' answer to the man was that all that you need is to be born again. Yes. And you will become a sign and a wonder. Yes. And Adadi explained that it makes you behave like the wind. Mm. Beloved, on your own, you can't do it. Can't so. But there is a seed that was put in you the day you accepted Jesus. Mm. Tonight we are praying and praying it back to life. Oh. I will pray that Lord let that seed come alive one more time. Mm. That is said that because we are born of the spirit we are able to function as spiritual beings. Yes, Mm. Lift your voice and cry unto God. Oh, Lord, revive me again. Yeah. Let the spirit come alive again. Yeah. Change my heart again. Oh. I want to be like Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to cry. Ashela ba 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 ba
Spirit of the Lord. Come alive in me, O Lord. Come alive in us, O Lord. Let our hearts be transformed. Let our hearts be changed. We want to be like Jesus. The seed of the Holy Ghost, the seed of the Spirit that is in us, we are praying, O Lord, let it come alive. The seed, O Lord, of righteousness, let it come alive. We want to have the heart of Christ. We want to have the heart of Christ. We are able to say no. We are able to say no to sin, O God. Let the seed of God, let the nature of Christ that was deposited in us begin to come alive. Let it come alive. Let it come alive in our hearts. In our hearts. He calls us. He calls us. He a shala baba de kota, ba hus de ba kota, ba shala baba kota, iba lo shaka, ba kute. Ali ba kosha de le gaba ya gaba baba, Ali gaba ya gaba ba. Ewa de sachra ya kuma, Ewa de sachra ya kuma, Ewa de sachra ya kene. Na ya ya se ya ura Yeshu. In Jesus name. Now, beloved, one of the secrets in Christianity that you will walk with that consciousness mm. that you are born again, born again. and that you are special. The Bible says that the old is gone. And now you are walking in a new life. I want us to pray tonight. Yes, Lord. That Lord, let me walk in this consciousness. Yes. That I am the redeemed of the Lord. That I'm walking in righteousness. That I am sanctified of the Lord. That I am able to say no to sin. So let's pray the Lord, let me walk in this consciousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord, help us to walk in this consciousness, the consciousness of our new man, the consciousness that we are the redeemer of the Lord, the consciousness that we walk in the righteousness of Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus, oh Lord, we pray, Lord, grace to walk in that consciousness, grace to walk in that consciousness, grace to walk in that consciousness, grace to live in that consciousness of our new man, of who we are in Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Help us to be conscious of our the abilities we have, the ability we have in Christ Jesus to be able to live right. Lord, we pray, the consciousness of all that we are able to live right, that we are able to work in righteousness, that we are able to forgive in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ashala 
of the news of Tata. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Beloved, when our daddy was ending, he picked the life of Cain. And he made a statement that touched my heart. My daddy said that the problem was not with the sacrifice Cain brought. But there was something wrong with his him as a person. And therefore, if he was not pleasing to God, God was not ready to accept anything from him. Yeah. I want us to pray tonight. Let's appeal to the mercies of God. That Lord, if there is anything I have done, that has denied me your favor. I am pleading with you tonight. Let your mercy restore me. Yes. Let me find favor with you but uh, yeah, when you want me so be aware of be able to accept what I bring before you Lord what to me I came I had let your voice and begin to pray my own as soon as we know that they can pray to lay back a barrier to the most shot of a real person a Korea oh Lord we pray about this we are here to the messes of God oh but they really have the level shot of the atonement work of Christ I love us they are mighty we are peeled through the blood of Jesus everything we have done Forgive us, O Lord. Please Father, we thank you tonight. We stand on this word and we plead the blood. The Lord restore your love into our hearts again. Amen. Jesus. Father, you can put in us the grace and the ability mm. to live a good life, you. to maintain a pure heart. You. We are praying tonight, O oh Lord, mm. that the Holy Ghost will brood over our lives one more Thank time. Lord. Brood over our hearts and let it come alive again in Jesus' yeah. name. Father, we stand on behalf of our nation, Ghana. And we are praying that, Lord, the Bible says that Abel and his offering found favor with you. We are praying that you show mercy to our nation. Yeah. Father, anything we have done as a nation that has made you turn your eye off mm. us, we are pleading the blood. Show us mercy one more time. Let the mercy of God come upon our nation. Forgive Ghana, O oh Lord. Show us favor one more time. Accept us and our offerings. Let our prayers be acceptable unto you. Let our hearts be cleansed. If there is anybody, O oh God, who just can't let go, we are praying that let the preaching of your way yes. bring liberty to their hearts. Amen. Cleanse their hearts, O oh Lord, and restore us one more time. We thank you, King Jesus, for the answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My sins are gone far away. Jesus has taken all my bad sins away. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. My sins are gone. Jesus has taken all my sins away. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner. So once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. So my sins are gone. Jesus has taken. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner, my sins are gone. Jesus has taken. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. 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 Once I was a sinner, saved by grace.
Once I was a sinner, once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner, my sins are gone. Jesus has taken. we are very grateful to God for another very impactful evening and we are so grateful to our father the chairman of the church of Pentecost worldwide for always always being such a great blessing unto us we are grateful to all those who joined us on TV on Pen TV at Enka TV those who listened on Pen Radio in Kumase those who were on our various social media platforms we are really really grateful we are grateful to our sponsors, Adum City Estates. We are grateful to Next Computers, Mufa Tablet and Syrup, and then EDC. Beloved, starting Wednesday or Thursday, as has been arranged in our various jurisdictions, is the Easter Conventions worldwide. We want to encourage all of us, just as our Father sent the pastoral letter, so that we can fully, fully participate in the letter, he indicated that everybody should pray and look for two people that we are sending to the convention to be a blessing, to be impacted, and to be touched. We know that we are all going to do the same, and God will be glorified. But on Tuesday, the intercessors' assembly will be gathering with a virtual prayer night with our dear chairman. The webinar ID is 9882971136. 9882971366. The passcode is chairman. Once you are entering into the system, it will ask you for an email. Once you key it in, you are granted access. Otherwise, the generic one is meetings at gmail.com. It's 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. or 22 hours to 23.30 hours. A lot of things through God's grace is happening as we lift up this intercession and prayer. The agenda is to raise one million intercessors. We want to encourage all of us across the globe. Let us make time. Let us gather around on Tuesday like we do every Sunday 
so that we can raise up prayer and as our father has taught us we can execute our highest form of christian service beloved as we live here our father has made us understand that god is more interested in the state of our hearts than the offerings that we bring and he has used cain and abel as an example to us we pray that god will give us a heart that is yielded and submitted unto him so that day in and day out we can reflect his glory and the new nature that he has put in us through jesus christ we hope to see you on resurrection sunday god bless you and see you soon we